welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. This unboxing is from DIY Digital Art. They did send me these items for review, so thank you to DIY Digital Art. So let's move the stuff up. The stuff is not all the way to, to the side. So first things first, here is a pen. This pen is supposed to light up. Do I need a battery? Nope, it lights up without a battery. So I'm not sure. I guess this is to stop you from turning it off and on. Um, but yeah, it's it's supposed to light up. It's actually pretty light um, and in in heaviness because I'm I'm one of those people who when the pen is heavy, um, I don't like it. So I'm like, oh, so this this might be good for those times when there's a power outage, which has happened to me in the past. For whatever reason, because Washington State has 50 million trees, that's the first thing I noticed when I moved to Washington State was, I was like, why are there so many trees? I came from California. I'm not used to this many trees. But because of the many trees, at least where I live, I get constant, not constant, but I get power outages periodically and it's annoying <laughs> and other people who live where um in my city don't i, I asked my coworkers, i'm like do you guys get the power outages that often they're like no and i'm like i think i must just live in a more i live in a more area where there's a lot of trees so yeah so yeah if you're you're trying to diamond paint when there's a power outage Ooh, because I've, I've diamond painted by um, candlelight before when there was a power outage and I was like, I'm like, I have nothing else to do. Let's see if I could diamond paint. But it was, <laughs> it was the winter and light is not that much. So this is $1.75 on the website. And I do like that whatever battery is already in there, so it's lighter. So next items. So this, these two items are very similar. They are, um, what do you call that? Frames. Diamond painted frames. I'm trying to find my link to it, but something must have changed because I don't see the link to this one anymore. So, because when I click it, it goes to a 30 by 40, um, it goes to a 30 by 40 link, so I'll have to relook that up. So if I get the, the 30 by 40 is $6, and for whatever reason, the link to my 30 by 30 is going to the 30 by 40. So this is a 30 by 30 frame here. It's a little smushed, so I think what I'm going to have to do is put this under some heavy... I'm probably going to put it under my art portfolio so that I have the completed diamond paintings. I have tons of them. So so at the end when I show you something framed on this, hopefully it will be nice and flat. So, so the opening, it looks like it's slightly less than 25. Yeah, slightly less than 25 by 25. And it's this is about 28 centimeters by 28 centimeters so this is meant for the pictures that are 30 by 30 but canvas size and they tend to be more 25 by 25 so I'm trying to see what so there is a protective covering over this which I'll take off um, after I flatten it hopefully so what I think it's supposed to be yes it's magnetic see So whatever reason, it seems like... Oh, it's only mag... Okay, I was like, why isn't it all coming off? It's only coming... It only... This other side is not a magnet, but it's it's it looks like it's adhesive. So it's... I guess it's so that you keep the sides together. So... So yeah, you should be able to put a picture in here and frame it using the magnets. And the back here looks like it's... A sticker so you could stick this onto something I don't know if I'd stick this on the wall 
but I'd stick it onto something that I could stick to the wall. Hey, it's, ooh, I didn't realize this, but it's, it's clear in the background, so... So yeah, I would stick. I wouldn't necessarily stick this directly onto the wall, but I would think highly of sticking this onto something. So I'm thinking I'm gonna probably get a foam board and stick it to the foam board and cut like cut a foam board up to size and stick it on the foam board. But you'll see it at the end of the video when. I'm actually framing something. So I did also get one that's supposed to be for a 40 by 50, which all my links are linking to the 30 by 40 size. So I don't know what happened to the 40 by 50. I'll have to hunt it down. Yeah. So I'm thinking that maybe the 40 by 50s went away at the between me asking for it and and getting this because I don't see it. I wait because I just realized my links are not right. I'm gonna go pause and see if I can find it. So I went and tried to search for this and it looks like the only thing I could find is the 30 by 40 size. So I'm guessing between me or um, ordering this and getting it and it's only been like I, I ordered this June 1 and it's today is June 19, at least at the time of this part of the recording, and I can't find it anymore, so I'm guessing they ran out, which means high popular item, right? So this one is the 40 by 50 size, and you could get these frames, in at least in the 30 by 40 section, it looks like there's a black, gold, silver, dark blue and red so i got the gold ones because i'm pretty sure i have plenty of options for black so that's that's the main reason okay so it's also like the other one where one side is completely adhere adhe on by adhesive while the the last three the last three have magnets so yeah this 40 by 50 one, I'm guessing it's supposed to be 35 by 45. It's it's very crumpled and I'm going to put this under something heavy. So hopefully by the end of the video, I'll be able to frame something. You know, when it's been a couple days, I'll frame something at the end. So this is a 45, slightly smaller. The opening is slightly smaller than 45. And this side, it looks like it's dead on to 35. So... So yes, hopefully by the time the second half of this video is being recorded, these will be nicely squished and I'll be able to show a framing. So yeah, and I don't know, I, I, I don't see it on the website anymore, but the 30 by 40 size is $6 each. So let's move that to the side there. Next one is a diamond painting. This diamond painting is $4.50 on the website, and so ordinary toolkit, these are round drills, and it's this butterfly, because I don't have enough butterflies in my collection. <laughs> But I like these stained glass effect pictures. I think they turn out usually very nice as diamond paintings. So this one has only 16 colors, very few colors here. The legend is all letters. Why is my camera focusing weirdly? The, the legend is all letters and drill field. I think, think it looks fine. I don't see anything crazy in there. So this, it, did I say it was $4.50? I probably did. It's slightly less than 25 and slight, like more like 24 and a half. 
So let's look at the drills. Here, so. Some browns, yellows, not nothing is too bright. This looks more like muted colors here. But I think it'll look nice in the end. There. So. I'm probably going to end up kitting this up for my mom, but not do it myself. So. I think I'm going to end up having to find Dobbin paintings to, to frame because I don't think any of the... <laughs> this, this one will fit, should fit this one here, but... But... I don't, I don't have anything I'm unboxing for the 40 by 50 but I'll go through my stash. I have tons finished, so there'll be something to frame. Don't worry. My, my, my problem usually is I don't have frames. <laughs> so, next item. This one is slightly bigger, but, but kind of small still because it's a three panel. So it's big, but yet it's not. So ordinary toolkit, except it looks like the wax is a lot bigger. So, okay, they are in baggies. Look at all that. And they just look like they have the numbers. Very, very muted colors here. I, I guess I didn't go too colorful in this. So this has... 24 colors all of the symbols are letters and and i'm like it's too big it's too big so there you go it's a three panel of these gold well i i thought they looked gold gold flowers here each the panels are 39 and a half tall and this one is 26 and a half yep 26 and a half and 26 but and a half so yeah so, I mean, it's it's pretty much like a 30 by 40, but just times three. So you could do this as like one massive diamond painting, or you could treat this as three 30 by 40 diamond paintings. So, yeah, I just, I just like the image here. Let me move you down here because it's so big. So let's look at the drill field. Well, let's look at the part where there's more stuff than just the background because there's going to be tons of black so drill field very confetti but with massive color blocking and what is b b is 3371 and w is 310 okay so 3371 is actually a dark dark brown um i think i'm pretty sure it's a dark dark brown and W um, and 310 is a black. So yeah, there is there is a good amount of confetti in this. But if it'll focus, there you go. I think the the lettering looks pretty clear. Just very confetti. But you know, it's only confetti where the flowers are, right? The rest, you're just gonna be like, here's a whole bunch of W's, this is a whole bunch of B's. So yeah. So this one is $16 and 75 cents Because it's a big one <laughs> There you go and colors Also very muted some blacks looks like some browns and it, This is this the yeah, this is the item number here some browns so yeah, just a bunch of blacks and browns, because that's what this color scheme is. Might be interesting to see which one would be a good substitute with like to 
replaced with gold. I, I do, I'm pretty sure I have gold drills, but I can't recall anymore. I'm pretty sure I do. This one I might get up for my mom also. So yeah. So that is the last one in this unboxing. So let me show you everything I got. So there's the flowers. Here is one of the frames. I'll put that underneath. And then here's some butterflies. And then here's the other frame. And here is the pen. So I don't know if I'm gonna finish anything, but if I don't finish any of these, I will find some finishes to, to frame. So that will be what's at the end of the video. So I'll see you later. All right, I'm back and I didn't unfortunately finish, I didn't finish any of the diamond paintings unboxed, but I will show how to, well, I'll hope that I'll be able to show using these magnetic frames. I've had these under some heavy things for a while. I even tried ironing it by putting a towel over it, a wet towel over it, and then ironing it. So I think I've gotten this as straight as I can. So, so yeah, I got some foam board. So this is just foam board. I covered it with black vinyl from the Dollar Tree. I, I found the black vinyl does not really stick that well when I curl, I folded it over here. So I did tape it to hold it on there. So I, so the reason for that is I noticed that when you peel the adhesive layer from here, the back is clear. So I just wanted there to be a black background. So just going to center it as much as possible on this that I cut. And I don't know how much the centering worked. So see, it's clear in the back there. I didn't want to stick this directly on the wall. I was just like, nope, it's gonna go on something else. And then I'm going to put some something on here to in the back so that it could hang. So yeah, I don't know how straight I did that. Where's my straightener tool? Oh, here. I have the other frame in there. So, so there's like this, well, that's really popping. Okay, so at least we'll be covering most of this. But yeah, this is why I was like, nope, this is not going on the wall as this is. So unfortunately, I feel like I didn't put it in as well. I don't know how well this will lift up. Can I, will I be able to lift this up again? I guess it depends on the surface, but yeah, no, I would not put this directly on the wall. Cause yeah, just how stuck it is to this here. I'd worry about my wall. So I might just have to have this bubble here. Should I just pierce it with like a tweezer? I mean, does it really matter? So I just got my sharp tweezers, which apparently is sharp enough to pierce this to release the air in there. There. This is like putting those, those, those screen protectors on phones. I, at least, okay, I don't know how much I should even care because this is all going to be under the diamond painting, but I figure I want the surface to at least be flat. So, because the diamond painting should be under this. Should, should. So here's another use for the pointy tweezers. And you know they're pointy when they could rip holes 
into some plastic. So now it's on the foam board there. And I did notice there was a plastic covering over this, which I'm pretty sure I already took off on this one, but I didn't take off on my bigger one. So I'm going to frame this here. It's been in my portfolio book here. It's these. And I noticed that when... I take these off here, the double-sided adhesive <laughs> stays onto the paper, which is okay then. I could use that for an another diamond painting. Does this fit? Okay, so, so there's going to be a little bit more. I'm just pondering if I'm going to need to double si um, put some tape on the inside painting. So I do, I did plan to put the the part that doesn't come off at the bottom so that when you hang it up, hopefully gravity means it will stay. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know if the magnets are powerful enough. Let's see, I have, I have one of these magnets you know they're one of those stronger magnets would they stick to each other so yeah i don't know if it's because the it was not that straight it's not staying down So it either needs stronger magnets or I'm going to have to put some tape. Anyway, so let's add a little bit of, let's add some double-sided tape then. I mean, do I need that much? I should. And then it should be relatively, I don't know, maybe easy to re take to take it out again. So I'm gonna just put some double-sided tape here. So yeah, I think these frames are going to have to be shipped out in something more rigid for them to survive the, the journey, <laughs> perhaps. And I'll just do a small one in the middle here. So that way there's an opening to lift it up. Oop, my magnet's here. So it's a nice concept. I like the fact that the frame is relatively easy to open and all that. It's just, unless it's really straight, unless it got to you really straight, it might be a little difficult. Might be a little bit difficult to keep the frame down or it just needs stronger magnets. One of those. So. So, yeah, maybe I should have taped the <laughs> the picture in there too. It's not moving too much. It's just not completely the right size. So, so yeah. You might have to tape the inside picture too. So, 
perhaps just a little bit at the top to keep it in place. Maybe. if I could get it to stick to the canvas more. Sometimes, yeah. That's why it was relatively easy to peel the canvas off of my paper from my portfolio book because the, the, the tape likes paper more than it likes the canvas material. So I probably do need actually more tape at the top, but it doesn't seem like the double-sided tape is permanent on here, or at least my double-sided tape isn't permanent on here. So that's what I'd probably do. Just, I know folks um, on those bar hanging framing things say that they put double-sided tape to in case the magnets fail. So there so yeah unfortunately it is a little not straight and that's because when it got to me it was a little crumply so but but there is this one yeah and it's really obvious it's this this Ben was in there before so perhaps it'll settle down it doesn't look too bad all right so let's try the other one. So the other one is bigger. So I'm going to use this blank canvas here. I got this like five for like $10, I think at some point in my life. <laughs> at some point and I've only so far used two of the five. So I still have two more after this. It was my original plan how I was gonna frame all my diamond paintings. This was before I ended up diamond painting like 200 something diamond paintings. My original plan was to use these stretched canvas and then just put the diamond painting directly on it. And because in the whole scope of things you can you can frame like five diamond paintings for like $10, I think. Or was this like $11? I think it's $10.99. And yep, it didn't end up happening. <laughs> so this is the same thing. It's on a clear something. And then I'm just going to put it on to this stretch canvas. Hopefully this goes a little bit better than the one that I did on the foam board. Maybe you won't like sticking onto this stretch canvas. Man, it's going to be so nuts. Okay, so it doesn't seem like it likes the stretch canvas that much, so I could probably take off the whole sheet and be able to eyeball position it before. Man. Getting this in center is... I think that looks center enough. So my, um, this is a 40 by 50 sized frame here and my my canvas in the back is a 16 by 20 
inch frame canvas. So that's the closest I could get to fit this one here. It seems to have smoothed out better on this canvas than it did on my black vinyl <laughs> covered foam board here. So that I think might work out a little bit better. So I'm going to use, I'm going to go frame this diamond painting here. You know what I might use this, which is what the thing stuck on before is put it on my piece of paper here so that I can cover that double sided adhesive until I use it for something else. So let's see. Yeah, see the double sided adhesive sticks to the paper a little bit more than the diamond painting. This is one my mom did. Let's see. The diamond painting. So yeah, I think you are going to have to add some tape to the diamond painting. So that it will stay. There. And I don't think the magnet is strong enough. But I kind of don't want to put the tape on there because it kind of made it... I kind of felt like it made it... do the bulging. But that might be because I tried to flatten this as much as I could. So maybe I'll just put a little tape at the top instead of putting it, in, putting it everywhere. Like put tape here instead of putting it down the line like I did on the other one. Maybe that will work better. Why, why? It's because I ripped it instead of cutting it. So the edge is a little, was a little bit more jagged than I'm used to. So, oh, and there's actually this plastic protective covering over the thing here, so. Which I took off on the smaller one already, but didn't take off on this one. So yeah, there's this one framed here. Yeah, it's, I might've, I might've messed it up because I ironed it, but I don't know. So, Yes, here is the two that I end up framing for this video. I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure I might have messed up the frames a little bit when I tried to flatten them. So maybe if they weren't so warped when it got to me, it might have been okay. But I think overall, it with this kind of framing was, I think the, ch the frame was relatively cheap. And in the whole scope of things, it would be relatively easy to change the diamond painting in here. And you could stick it on your wall. I think pretty easily. I wouldn't rec I don't know if I would recommend sticking it directly on your wall. I'd just be afraid of messing up 
paint or something. But that's why I put it on extra things. But I think it could work. So thank you to DIY Digital Art for sending these items for review. And thank you for watching. And happy diamond painting. Bye.